All righty. Uh, welcome back. Uh, in this uh, video, we're going to be looking at uh, two specific things. We're going to be looking at uh, what they call fiscal policy, and we're also going to be looking at uh, taxes. All right. And so just to, to start off with, uh, let's talk about fiscal policy first. So fiscal policy, and I'll just write down the definition here. So fiscal policy refers to I apologize for the writing. Uh, refers to the taxing and spending policies of the government. And so for our federal. Uh, this is what we're talking about for the federal. This would be the president or the executive branch and Congress, which would be the legislative branch. All right. And so when they get together and they set either uh, taxing or spending policies, <clears throat> and they do this in order to achieve the three basic macroeconomic goals, which are uh, full employment, employment, Price stability, stability, and economic growth. All right, so again, fiscal policy just says, what are the taxing and spending policies that the, in our case, the federal government uses in order to, to achieve these three uh, primary objectives? All right, and so uh, what we need to do is draw this out, draw the, draw the graph of the economy. All right, and so if you recall, uh, the quantity down here is real GDP, and over here we have the price level, and this upward sloping curve <coughs> is the short run aggregate supply, and the downward sloping curve is the aggregate demand. And now what I want to do is just give us the reference point, if you all will remember, that's our long run aggregate supply, and that just means that if these two intersect on this line, we are at full employment. All right, and so uh, take a look at where we're at. All right, and so if, if we're here, here's our price level, P1, and here's the quantity at Y1. All right, and so what's going on in this economy? So we look at it and say, if we're at full employment, this would be a 5% level of unemployment. And remember, this is measuring GDP, and so this is saying that our output or our GDP is less than what we would do at our potential, because this also measures potential, and so we would say that the economy is not doing so hot. All right, and so this would be considered probably a recession if we're at six months. And so, if you recall, aggregate demand is the C plus I plus G plus N X. <coughs> All right, and so if we were the government, then remember one of the main goals here is full employment and economic growth. And so if, if we're sitting down here, we don't have either full employment or uh, very good economic growth. And so what we would want to do is try to shift this aggregate demand curve out to the right. All right, and so I'm going to put a dotted line until we uh, discuss how to do it. And so remember, the, the, the federal government has control over two things. All right, and so this is all it is. They have control over taxes, and they have control over spending. All right, and so... If they have control of both of these, that means that they have control over this one, the government spending, the G, all right? And with tax policy, uh, if they were to lower your taxes or raise your taxes, that would certainly have an influence over consumer spending and business investments because they could do raise or lower taxes for both businesses and uh, consumers. And so what we want to do is say, <clears throat> okay, if we're in a recession, what could the government do to try to get us back to our goal of full employment as well as economic growth. All right. And so we would say, okay, what would we what would we want to have happen to either consumer spending or business investments or government spending? How could we get that to shift up? All right. And so we have two choices. Remember, fiscal policy is about taxes and spending. And so if we are sitting in a recession, how can we get consumers, what can you do to taxes to get consumers or businesses to spend more? Would you raise taxes or would you lower taxes? And so if this is a recession, 
then we would want to decrease taxes. Okay, and that will get the consumers with more disposable income. Disposable income. And so theoretically, uh, if they have more income, they're going to spend a percentage of it. They're not necessarily going to spend all of it, but because uh, they might save some of it, but they're, they're going to spend some of it. And so uh, that could, if you decrease taxes on businesses and consumers, you give them more disposable money. And so that would jack aggregate demand that way. All right. So that would be the taxes side of it. So the taxes deal with the C and the I. All right, or we could deal with the government spending. And so what would the government want to do if we're sitting down here? Would the government want to increase or decrease government spending? All right, and so hopefully you figured it out uh, and said that this was an, if they, that they would want to increase government spending. And so if they did that, uh, we want to do that, then aggregate demand would be pushed out this way. We get aggregate demand 2. All right. Now, we would have a little bit of inflation. However, uh, we would achieve economic growth because we're going there to there. We would achieve full employment. <coughs> and so that would be the idea. All right, so when we have a recession, the government is going to want to engage in what they call expansionary fiscal policy. All right, and the two things that they would do would be to decrease taxes and to increase government spending. All right, so this is for a recession. All right, so uh, I'm going to erase this and uh, figure out what we would want to do during a uh, inflationary time. So let's see how quickly I can erase. All right, bear with me. If the microphone goes silent, I'm dealing with a cough and I'm trying to mute it. So um, stick with me. I haven't gone anywhere. All right, so let's deal with uh, inflation. All right, and so let's draw out what inflation would look like. Let's go back to black. All right, and so this is our quantity with the GDP, short run aggregate supply. Aggregate demand equals C plus I plus G plus an X price level. And so if we're experiencing inflation, that's anything typically to the right. That's when inflationary pressure is going to hit. So let's say that's the, the long run aggregate supply curve there. So we know the full employment's there. And there's the price level. And there's our output. And so We've got one good thing going on here, and that is, remember, this is a five, but a 5% 5 unemployment rate. If we're to the right of this, that means that we're producing beyond our full employment potential level of output. So uh, this means that unemployment might be at like 3%, okay? And we've come close to hitting that uh, outside of war, because, uh, you know, if, if we have a war, then uh, like World War II, unemployment rates were extremely low just because we had a lot of people in the military. Uh, so anyway, and the government hired a lot of people to produce things. So anyway, so the idea is that if we are having an inflation problem, let's say that we're to the right here and inflation's starting to go up, uh, what could the government do to get inflation back down? All right, so we want to get this to go down. And remember, they have control over these two change colors here. They can mess with these two and they can mess with this. And so the, the two, so in an inflationary time, remember they have control over taxes and they have control over spending, government spending. You know what, let me write that in because that needs to be specific. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> All right, so uh, taxes and government spending. And so the idea is we want to get this to come back down this way because the goal is to get aggregate demand there, all right, because that would bring inflation down, get us back, that would be at full employment, so we're still achieving these goals. But right now, 
the goal is pr the, the the worry is inflation, and so we're dealing with price stability, all right? And so with taxes, if you want consumers and investors, consumers and businesses to spend less, what would you want to do to taxes? You would want to raise them up, all right? How about government spending? If you wanted to pull aggregate demand down this way, then you would say let's decrease government spending. And so this is called when we do this, this is called contractionary contractionary fiscal policy. All right. So, again, depending on where we are in the economy, these are the three goals, the macroeconomic goals, full employment, price stability, and economic growth. If Depending on where we are, Congress can Congress and the President can look at it and say, what can we do to try to get us to achieve these goals? All right. And so, uh, real quick, and this will be the last thing for this video, I'm going to try and keep it uh, relatively short. Let's go back to, whoops, what it looked like somewhere around 2009, 2008, 2009 in the U.S. Uh, that was the Great Recession, is the, the name they've given it. All right, whoever they is. Uh, so, you know, if this is our, let me not do that. So here's short and aggregate supply. Here's aggregate demand. And so, let's say this would be our full employment, so longer and aggregate supply. So this is our full employment level of output. And so, when the Great Recession hit, we were here and we got close to, I'm not sure if we hit it or not, 10% uh, unemployment, which was very bad, uh, and we ha actually had some deflation. And so the government has tried, and it started with Bush and continued with Obama. And so they both kind of had the same idea in 2008, uh, and that is that we need to get this going this way. And so uh, the Bush tax cuts were extended, all right, and so the, the taxes were already low. Remember, we're trying to find the fiscal answer to this. And so what do you think happened to government spending in 2008? All right. Uh, it went way up. All right. And that helped uh, to boost aggregate demand up. And there's debate as to whether this was a good idea or not. Uh, it's not a discussion that we're going to have here uh, because it is lengthy. But the, the, the general gist of it is the economy is uh, doing very badly. It's hard to get consumers to go out and spend a lot uh, if they think that the economy is going to stay bad. And so the only real entity that can go out and spend a bunch uh, is the government. And so they did. And we racked up a lot of debt over the last four years. Uh, but on the other hand, we didn't end up in a depression. So, uh, and again, there's arguments as to whether that was the consequence or not, but would have would have been the consequence. So anyway, uh, I'm going to get to taxes in the next video. Uh, just trying to keep this short, 13 minutes, not too bad, but this is fiscal policy, taxing and spending, and remember you need to know uh, contractionary fiscal policy and expansionary fiscal policy. So, until next time.